Alright. Uh, I'm not going to show you that yet. But if you're an old subscriber, you'll recognize that. Uh, now I'll show you it right about now. So this is a big trailer in here. Just barely fits in my garage here. Uh, it's 18 feet total. Um, 16 foot of a bed space. That's from here down to 16. And there's another few feet up here, so. Yeah, so this is about an 18, 20 foot trailer. Um, I bought this off Craigslist about 10 months ago. Um, it was a uh, frame from a uh, camper. So, yeah, this is uh, going to be part one of the trailer build. Uh, this had a big uh, deck on it. Um, not really a deck, but like a floor. Like it used to be a camper. Guy I bought it off of Restores Campers, and uh, I guess it was beyond repair, so he stripped it off and sold it as is. So this used to have big, had like linoleum flooring and stuff on it, and plumbing and whatnot. So I tore all that off, threw it away, and I was left with this. Uh, this has got I don't remember what the name is, but uh, it's just different kind of axle. It's there's no leaf springs. There's like a big thing inside there. I don't remember what it's called. Um, so, it's got a really crappy paint job on it, uh, thanks to me. Um, so, I didn't know what I was doing, so that's why the paint job's so bad. So, see this rusted. This is, this right here is stuff that I stripped off because I wanted to see what a wire wheel would do to it, how easily it would take it off. Did this a while ago, so. I don't know how much paint it's going to take, I know it's going to take a lot. Um, I hope I got enough. I got radio lost power yesterday. Um, six cans of the 15 ounce Rust Oleum Professional. Uh, it's a high performance enamel. And this stuff I saw in uh, your beekeepers uh, videos. Uh, this is a rusty metal primer. So I bought six cans of this and. Uh, I bought four cans of clear. So, I like Rust Oleum. They make good paint. <coughs> I'm going to be doing a little bit of experimenting here. Um, so, these, I'm going to try doing flap discs instead of a wire wheel for stripping this thing. <coughs> I'm going to see how it works. I've never used a flap disc before. Uh, so, I got three different kinds here that I'm going to compare. This one is a skill. It's from Walmart. This one costs five dollars and eighty-eight cents, I believe. Yeah. Um, so this one's from Walmart. It's a cheaper one. This is a Dewalt. Um, seems to be a little higher quality. This one was about eight dollars. Got this from Tractor Supply. They also sell these at Lowe's. And this I got from Lowe's. This is a uh, Blue Hawk. They uh, they make paint. And uh, they got these little kits at Lowe's which come with this and those two items. So, give me a little experiment there comparing these three. These these two seem to be identical. Seem to be very, very similar. But this these seem to have more flaps. And this one seems, <coughs> seems to be of lower quality compared to the other two. So, <coughs> uh... This has got brand new tires on it. Um, it's missing a lot of the lug nuts. I'm going to replace those with new studs and nuts. Um, this trailer hitch right here is going to be replaced. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Because that's pretty solid on there. So, it seems as though they had the hole here that they welded in. They welded here. And yeah. And this had one of these kinds of jacks. This was the original jack. Um, so, yeah. Don't like that being there, but I'm not sure what I can do about it. Uh, the only thing I can think to do with that is grind this off to be even with this, fill up any little gaps with a weld, and then grind it over smooth. So, and right here there used to be a propane tank holder here that I cut off. So this has got to be all filled in with weld. Um... What else? This jack is bad. It's no good. 
it's seized up. So that's a crummy jack, anyways. So that's gonna be replaced, and uh, it's gonna be a nice. It's uh, gonna be pressure treated uh, boards. It's not gonna be plywood or a chipboard. It's gonna be actual solid boards. It's gonna cost about two hundred dollars just to do the floor here on this thing, not including sides or anything else. So for right now, I'm gonna paint it. And uh, next video will be part two, which will probably be probably either a new trailer hitch or something like that. So, yeah.